It made a spectacular landing on a comet late last year, and now it's emerged the Philae lander may have made a significant discovery. Scientists analyzing data it's collected have found complex chemical compounds described as a frozen primordial soup. They support the theory that comets may have provided the ingredients for life on Earth. Here's our science editor, David Shukman. Descending towards the uncharted territory of a comet hurtling through deep space was one of the greatest achievements in exploration. And when it happened last November, the surface looked utterly barren. But in fact, the rock and dust have turned out to be a rich and varied mix of different chemicals. Some of them expected, some not. The chief scientist for one of the instruments on the lander is Ian Wright, and he told me how it had found the sort of ingredients that could be useful for getting life going. I see this cometary material that we're analysing as frozen primordial soup. It's the kind of stuff that if you had it and you warmed it up somehow, and put it in the right environment with the right conditions, uh, you may eventually get life forming out of it. The mission is trying to answer the big question of whether comets help to kickstart life on the early Earth. So what's it found? Well, let's imagine we've got the surface of the comet right here in our studio. And here comes the Philae lander descending as it did last November. Instruments on board the spacecraft started gathering a wealth of data and only now a scientist publishing the results. No surprise, they did not find any signs of life itself. They never expected to. But they have discovered the kind of chemicals which can make the building blocks for life. So, first, there's water, lots of it, in the form of ice, together with oxygen and carbon dioxide. Nothing remarkable, but important. Then there are more complex compounds, such as hydroxyethanol, which can play a role in the formation of sugars, and polyoxymethylene, which could, through a series of processes, lead to the backbone of DNA. So where does this leave us? Well, we still don't know for sure if comets brought life to Earth, but it looks very plausible that they may have helped to get it going. Finding simple organic compounds on a comet out there in space, showing us that these could have been delivered to the early Earth, early in the history of our planet, is tremendously exciting because it gives us better ideas about how those building blocks of life may have been formed and where they may have come from. The lander, Philae, is itself in a bad way. This is how it was meant to touch down. In fact, it landed in a hole, surrounded by boulders, which might explain why it can't communicate. But already it's delivered new insights into this distant world and revealed how comets aren't quite as alien as they look, but in fact might have a direct connection with us. David Shukman, BBC News. A teenager has been found guilty of plotting the mass murder of students at Newcastle College. Liam Liebird, who's 19, had stockpiled an arsenal of weapons in his bedroom, including pipe bombs and a handgun. Here's Danny Savage. An arsenal of weapons gathered by a teenager to commit mass murder. It includes guns, bullets and nail bombs. The prosecution said Liam Liebird was all dressed up with somewhere to go. 